here and then uh, let's start with the notes what I have if we have. Okay, so this is what we had yesterday uh, in the last couple of minutes of the class. We have a directional derivative, okay. It is uh, df dv, so v is the uh, direction, directional factor. So as directional factor, it must be uh, of length one, so normal factor. It's defined by v, the direction, dot gradient of f, okay, and plug in the and the number a b okay so this is uh, like a slope of a tangent line at this point in the direction of v all right so let me let's start with uh, from here let's repeat this Yeah. Um, if you have a sloping plane, okay, and you're standing here, see, so uh, you know this, uh, well, it's too big, I mean, it's kind of uh, your all right, and you look around. And look around. And around you, the steepness are uh, different and varies okay so the steepest may be this way in this one is maybe the steepest ascent sorry steepest descent okay steepest descent going this way, this may be the steepest ascent. Okay, here just flat, being flat, okay, means you're not going up or down. Okay. Here you're going down, but not as steep as the, the steepest one. It is slightly down, slightly steep. Slightly steep. No. Uh, okay, so this one is any directions. Gives you a different slope. Okay, so how should we uh, compute the, the slope? So this comes the, here comes the, what we call the uh, directional derivative. Okay. Okay, so what's the directional derivative says that the, let f be a differential of functions, meaning all the, uh, what we call, Partial derivative exists. B is a, a factor. 
we call directional factor with length one. Okay. Then what we call a directional derivative of f uh, at a point a b is the following d f d v okay and this is f b times the gradient sorry gradient means there okay So one note here that a uh, what we call the F D X is nothing but the F with the direction of I. Okay. And the F over the Y is the F over the K. Okay, so in the direction of I, direction of K. Okay, so examples. Uh, let's here, how was that? At level five, we compute directional derivative of a point at direction of A. All right, so let's uh, pick problem two, for example. Y square ln of x p one four. Okay, see where is that thing? Okay, so this is a factor, directional factor. However, the the length is uh, square root of two. That's uh, that one. So here we have a, a directional factor. The u. Is. A divided by its length, right? So I minus k over length is, well, well, this is one, one, so it's square root of two. Okay, so let's see. Now the, compute the directional derivative. The F over the U, right? And that is the U itself times gradient of V at P. Okay, so I compute this one. So this is over square root of two. This is uh, one one because there's i j 
dot let's see uh, the FDX, the FDX LN. So derivative is one over X. So that's y squared over X. And uh, the FDY, the FDY is two Y LN of X. Computed at the point P equals one, four, okay. So just plug in, plug it in. So uh, you may uh, substitute the P first or uh, later, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Okay, so let's uh, plug it in. So y squared, y squared is uh, 16 over one. So 16 here, two y. So uh, eight ln of one, that's zero. All right, so that's 16, zero, plus 16 over squared of two. Yes. Okay, questions? All right. Now the uh, Uh, we know the, the formula for this is yes. you. This is you, length of you, length of uh, gradient, um, cosine alpha, where alpha is the the, the smallest angle between U and gradient. Because always you have two angles, but this is the smallest one. By U and gradient. Okay. Right. So now the largest possible is, I would say, the FDU, the max. Max. If cosine equals to one. Oh, this is one. Okay, so basically the f uh, length one. So this is just gradient of, uh, length of gradient of f times cosine. Okay. So this only depends on the cosine. When cosine is one, then if cosine, in this case, Alpha would be in the same direction as, let's see, alpha would be uh, zero degrees. That means uh, U is same direction. of uh, gradient, okay? And in this case, would be, this is one, uh, this is one would be, okay. So this 
gate, the gradient is the direction uh, in which F changes the fastest. Okay. All right, so let's uh, pick some problems. Increase more, most rapidly. All right, so let's uh, pick, say, problem 12, right? In this case, oh, the the questions. Let's see. Uh, find the direction where uh, F changes more, more most rapidly. Okay, so here. So in this case, so this should be in the direction of gradient. Gradient of P. All right, so let's compute this. Gradient of P is so the FDX. Oh, this is uh, three uh, three variables. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's see. The uh, FDX. So it gives us X. So it just becomes e to the y z. Okay. The FDY which is z, so xz, e to the yz, and uh, derivative with respect to z, so this becomes xy, uh, e to the yz, computed at p, okay? p is 204, okay? So this is e to the uh, y is zero negative four, so e to the zero one. Plug into the second, the f d z, sorry, the f d y. Uh, two uh, y is negative, so minus eight. E to the y z again, just just minus eight. X, Y, E to the Y, Z, again, this is uh, one. So Y times Z, that's zero. Okay. So depending on the other question, if you, uh, so a direction, this is direction that gives you the, where F uh, changes most rapidly. Okay, so F changes most rapidly. Okay. All right, so let's 
take another example. All right, let's see uh, this one now. Number So it's elevation of the mountain at sea level, above sea level, at the point x, y is f. So f describes elevations, so the, the, the height. Okay. A mountain climber at p, so the point p, knows that the slope in easterly direction is negative one half. And slope in the northerly direction is negative one four. What direction should he move for fastest descent? Okay, so let's uh, let's draw the picture. So this is a mountain. Uh, it is a a climber. So he's here. Okay. So then, when he look around. Okay. For example, here in easterly direction, where's easterly? Well, suppose east is there. Okay. So, supposedly, this is red. This is red. Okay. So, this is east. Slope is. Uh, is negative one half. Oh, sorry. It's supposedly it's going down a little bit, right? Negative one half. So east must be around these directions. East. So negative one half. Okay. And north is negative one. It's negative one four. In what direction this should move fastest descent? So he want to uh, move the fastest descent. So fastest descent. Uh, Say for example, he's uh, he's bringing a board, snowboard or whatever, uh, and he wants to ride that board going down. So he would like to see what is the steepest possible. So that so he can make the uh, the time going down to the the floor of the the foot of the the mountain the fastest. Okay, so find the fastest descent. Okay, fastest descent would be in the direction of, let's see, not really this one. So, okay, fastest ascent would be fastest ascent would be direction there. Okay. Fastest descent 
would be the opposite of this. Opposite of this. Okay, so um, making the sign negative. Okay. Okay, so uh, going east. So now if you have something like this. Going north, going east. Going east means going in that uh, x directions. Directions, so this in i directions. This one gives you this one's yes. here directional factor should be j. Okay. So that means this one half and this negative one half, negative one fourth is actually uh, in this case would be the data is this. So the F D to the east to the east is okay. at this point, the point P is negative one half. Okay. So we let us compute the point. When J is so it is already a unit vector, so we just use the so I times the gradient. We know this should be negative one, uh, one half. Okay, so that's first. The second, we also given the data that direction of J at this point is J dot dx dy at the point P is negative one. Okay, so from one, what do you we should get? That's uh, dot product. This one, so this is actually the FDX. Okay. So it turns out that's negative one half is this one. Okay. And this one here is, see, if you multiply that zero times this and one times this one, there's out to be the FDY at the point P, this negative one fourth. Okay. So what we know from here is that this gradient at P is the FDX. The FDY at point P. So this gives you uh, the FDX at P is negative one half. And this is negative one fourth. Okay. But this is the, the gradient. So this would be give you the steepest ascent. So what's the direction that give you the steepest descent? Steepest descent is the so negative. So that's give you it's negative and negative. This is one half. Okay, so this is directions. All right, questions?
one more example. Okay, here. So function t describe a say a, a temperature at the point x y z. Okay, so in in three space, right? So t is temperature in three space. Three space means three d. So x y z. Okay. Three space. Okay. So, a uh, for example, if there is a fire or something, so there must be a, a source of heat, and then this is the this the description of of the temperature. So, getting far away from the origin, so x squared plus y squared plus z squared is getting larger. So, temperature is getting lower. So it's apparently the source of the heat here is there's source of heat. Okay. So and from the, the the origin, so the heat radiates uh, let's see outward. Heat radius outward. From the origin. Okay. All right. So, for example, there's a bee flying from the hot spot. Okay. At the origin. So, hot spot the origin. On a spiral path. So, its position at time t, its position is determined by this. Uh, this uh, this path cosine sine t okay so this is the the b's uh, path okay the determined rate of change of t in each case with respect to distance traveled at t equals one uh, let's see I forget how to do this one. Mm. All right. Okay. This one. Uh, with respect to distance traveled at 
I have t equals one. Okay, so this problem A uh, asks you to compute uh, the t. B, right, where B is at at T equal one, where B is the directional vector. Uh, of the particle of the B on the the path T equals one. Okay. So this is the, the case. Sort of the heat. Now, sort of heat and the V is flying there. So the question is, and I'll take the uh, let's see, for example, to T equals one, here is the, but this is R one. Okay. So the direction factor would be V would be in the direction of R. So what is this? Well, this is the uh, R because R is, let's see, what's this? Cosine, sine, and T. So take derivative respect to, to T. Oh, there is a t here. Okay. So t cosine of pi t. t cosine of pi t. So the derivative would be uh, one cosine pi t. Uh, minus pi uh, t sine pi t. Okay. So this is a direction of the i, direction of j, but this is sine t sine pi t. So this becomes sine pi t. Plus pi t cosine pi t, right? And k direction is just one. And plug in t equals one. So you get cosine pi t. Cosine pi is negative one. So yeah, negative one. And minus sine pi, sine pi is zero, there. Yeah. And sine pi t, that's zero. Sine pi plus uh, pi t, cosine pi t, this uh, cosine pi, let's see. So cosine pi is negative one. Zero, sorry. Sine pi is zero, now pi t, so pi, cosine, 
uh, cosine pi negative. And this is one. Negative one, negative pi one. So that's the direction. This the directional factor. Oh, sorry. This is a direction now vector. B is divided by its length to make it a one. Right, so this is one, one square. So two square plus five squared. Okay. The directions okay so here the t dv is this one dot now this is uh, radius as we radius of t uh, at p p is what is p um, I should say p when p was one okay so let's complete this one two plus y square negative one negative pi one times okay dt gradient so derivative respect to respect to x all right so this is a uh this is one half so uh let's see here is uh, 10 negative 1. So the drift step would be negative 1 times uh, 10 times this one, power negative 2 is negative times 2x. Okay. So then this gives you 20x negative square plus y squared plus z squared okay same thing yeah. at a point t plus one okay When p equals one, uh, the point p is r one. So r one is plug in one to this one. So uh, one cosine pi, one cosine pi is uh, one times cosine pi. That's negative one. Y is a uh, sine pi is zero, that's zero, and this is uh, just one, zero, one. Okay, copy to here. So, this is what you get two plus. Pi square, negative one, negative pi, one, dot, all right, here. 20, you can take 20 out. 
So it is uh, one over plus it here, you get the same thing. So negative one. And this gives you just one zero one. So x squared, one. Um, so two square, yeah, one one so two square for four. Okay, and then negative one four, yeah, negative one. Yeah. So again, what you get is multiply this out. So negative one. Negative one, negative four, negative one fourth. Four. This is plus i over one. There you go. All right, so this is the rate of change of uh, rate of change of t in this respect, distance traveled at t plus one. Well, uh, with a, this is part of the, the sorry, should be like this. The the b travel like this. Okay, so it's going there. Yeah. It's running away from the heat source. Okay, it's flying away. All right, so that's part B. Part B is respect to time t at t equals one. Okay, so this is the, I won't uh, complete this one. It's up to you. Let it, uh, I let you finish this one. That should be what B is compute. Well, let's see. You see that the T is a function of X, Y, Z. The thing here is X uh, is a function of T as well as Y and Z. So indirectly, T is a function of T. So, yeah. So the question is, find the T. Hey, this is not the partial derivative. Okay, this is the uh, derivative one variable. Let me see. Okay, so you need to find t first as a function time. Okay, so that's uh, n over let's see. X is uh, uh, T square cos S square, right? So Y is sine square plus T square, right? And sine square cos S square is one, so this T square. Square. There's two, two become five. Five over t squared. So that's okay. At time t equals one. There. Okay, so then the right just put it. That's easy. Be this one. 
Okay. All right. Questions. Uh, sir, I have a question. Uh huh. Uh, is the rate in the form of a scalar or a vector? Uh, rate should be a scalar. It's a number. Uh, all right. It's just, uh, this is a field of scalar field, not a vector field. Uh, the temperature is uh, temperature is scalar field. this is a number t is a number okay question yes or scalar field this is a number not vector All right, so then uh, let's take a break and we'll continue with the uh, <clears throat> with subsection on chain rule. Okay, all right, so let's uh, take a break. Okay.